Hey everybody, welcome back to How to Build a 105 Thunder Chief. 10 minutes at a time. Alright people, I'm still fondoing. I didn't get much done yesterday. Yesterday was one of them days where I kind of had company all day. My after dad left and my daughter came over and ain't seen her for a while. And it's one of them days I reckon. One of them family days. No, I'm still born doing away. What I'm doing now is just, I'm just kind of rolling it and getting, you know, I'm just going to roll it, keep eyeballing. And uh, every time I find a spot, I mark it with a pencil. Found a bunch on the bottom. And I also came across something. I'm not really going to do anything about it now. But it looks to me like I got a high spot that runs kind of right just past the center. And what I think it may be is where they overlap their cloth. I don't know. I didn't glass this. But I'm not going to do anything about it now. I'm going to get these filled. It looks like I might need to run a just a small layer of bondo over there because it's kind of off center. It's like runs here, it runs kind of down to the length. I might be able to sand that out. It ain't much, but I don't know. I'm going to stew on that for a little bit. Sometimes it's better to think about things, you know. But I'm gonna keep Bondo and while it's cool out this morning and this afternoon I can get to sanding. Man, it's, I really like this Bondo people. This stuff just flows, man. Flows out nice and smooth. You get a nice feathered edge. You really gotta watch the hardener though. You don't want to put too much hardener in it because it seems to set up a little faster than the regular Bondo. You know, it costs a little more, but you know, if it saves time, time's money, you know. You got to equal out the price of something and uh, your time. You know what I mean? And the work involved. That's kind of how I do it. Now here's a big flat spot right there. That just sticks out plainer than plain as day. And we don't want to build it way up because you just end up sanding it off and that waste bond though. I'd rather go a little bit at a time than to just gob it on there and have to sand most of it back off. But what I'm finding is there's just Lots of little flat spots here and there. And I don't want that in my mold. I don't want that on my finished parts. The trick is not to do no filling on your finished part. You know, that just may go make the plane way more. yesterday with old Bob. He helped my buddy Pat do some work on his Model T truck. And boy, he really enjoyed that. He just talks about that Model T and 
see that spot there when I was standing right on top of it but you get over here and look at it from that angle BAM jumped right at me sand too much because of the dust. So clog up my air conditioner filter and just get dust everywhere. I have a DA sander but I very rarely use it because of the dust. But I'm almost out of time folks but I'll make another video.